Well, hello again. Welcome to Automotive Engineers Corner. Today we have 8th April 2020. We will talk today about the main departments that are present in the automotive industry factory. It can be a car factory or a component factory. It doesn't really matter. This is like a basic scheme, basic architecture. What are the departments in the factory? Which means as well where you can uh, work, where an engineer can find um, some nice jobs. There are many, there are many, many places where an engineer can be and can work and can uh, have fun actually every day. So I will draw our factory. This rectangle is the automotive factory. So <clears throat> the main purpose of the factory is to produce. So here is the production department. To produce, we need to have components. The component needs to be uh, transported from outside of the factory to the production, then be concretely distributed in the production lines, wherever, and then the products needs to be taken, stored somewhere and shipped to the customer. So this everything is the department of logistics. We can have logistics here. We need to have a logistics in the, in the inbound, we can say. And then we of course have the logistics outside on the outbound and we have logistics internally in the factory. Then we have as well of course the quality. Quality is the department which is like sticked to the production because quality needs to check if the production is uh, working correctly. Quality department is making all the <clears throat> statistical Actually, production and quality department, they are doing the controls. They are doing the statistical um, production control. So um, they make uh, the quality department in the production line. They control the parts, the, uh, the parts that uh, are, for example, between the stations, between the workstations. Then we will have the quality which is controlling the final product. Let it be the car. It needs to be a quality department, quality control, which is controlling the outbound, the, the, the outcome of the production. But as well, we need to have a quality department which is dealing with the incoming parts. So this will be the supplier quality. So here we will have the supplier quality. This is dealing with the components. Then we have the production quality and then we have the customer quality. Then of course, for the productions to be smoothly running, we need the maintenance. The technicians, the maintenance engineers, the, mm, the tools, uh, the tools warehouse, everything. This needs to be stick, stuck to the production. Well, of course, we have the infrastructure department and all the other department, technical departments that are uh, workshops and so on to keep the whole factory running infrastructure department so this is for example taking care of the building this is taking care of the machines this is taking care of, of the process of production then we have of course uh, some other services or engineering services for example automation robotics 
workshops and so on. This is closely connected to the production lines. Next part is more office. We need to have a purchasing department which is connected with the suppliers of course. We need to have the sales department. They are dealing with the orders for the production. They are dealing with the customers, with the dealers, with the networks. Then of course we have the management and the other supporting services. We have management, of course top, middle and lower level. We have finance, we have HR, we have legal, we have business departments, and of course others. What I didn't include here in the picture is of course design and development development department this department provides the input the input to the production so actually development department is something which can be still outside the factory because this department is doing the input designs so that the engineers of the factory could really realize it in the reality. So here we have prototypes, here we have projects, here we have the, the drawings of the components, drawings of the cars or the models, 3D models, simulations and so on. And everything should be already approved, frozen, and then it goes to the production. What is very important here, we have as well always, always, always change management. This should be or is a separate department which is keeping the eye on the changes that are every day coming from development, from quality, and they need to be implemented in the production. Okay, that is it for this kind of presentation. This is the structure of the factory. If you want to build a factory, if you want to organize it, this these are the components of the factory that you need to consider. Okay, see you in the next movie.